Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is my Dwarf Fortress Let's Play uh, Part 3. In uh, the previous episode I fixed up my uh, my water supply and my sleeping rooms for the dwarves and uh, bats took care of my farmer. But uh, I also got migrants at the end and uh, let's watch them come in. So, uh, I saw a doctor and a farmer I think. And a couple of animals, looks like there's not many migrants at all. Um, there's a couple. A brewer, a presser, a diagnoser, bone carver. Bone carver can be not pretty nice. Um, and I still have the stray hunting dog. Oh, yeah, that's something I should do too. You can. I, I gave you a hunting dog in this uh, this the preset that I made, with the, the, which is in the lazy new pack, and uh, you actually need to. Yeah, assign him to a guy, and which I forgot, and which I did now. More information about that in the old videos. Uh, I couple that, and I'll have to just follow the screen on the right side. It'll tell you what to keys to press. Um, anyway, on with the show. So I got some migrants, and um, I was thinking about starting the glass farming early, and maybe I should do that. Um, yeah, but first, first I need to get my food supply back in order. This brewer is going to be very important. Um, let's see if he has brewing at, at, at all. Yeah, he has. Um, is he any skill in it? An accomplished brewer and a talented metalsmith. Um, okay, this brewer guy, he's going to be my brewer forever. This presser guy would be great in my armor uh, and my yeah military but I don't have much yet and not expecting any more enemies other than that bat so this pressure guy is going to be my farming fields guy and my cooking guy for now and he can press and beekeep too but I won't be using that I think um, got enough food at the moment yeah okay that'll do for now um, and there's a child which I can't use and there's a bone car which I already have um, sort of it would, because the woodcutter can also yeah the carpenter can make bone bolts too anything else you can do Mr. Bone Carver he is a pretty good ex-dwarf well he should go into the military then but yeah Fort is still too small to start a, a real military. I, I first need really need to start some production levels. Yeah, um, and preferably in the soil because it'll be easy to dig out. But uh, there's not much soil up here. I now no should notice, uh, but this room here should have yeah this. Should have some way more room to, to make some new workplaces here. Um, let's see. Because also I want to put my animals here somewhere. What about if I move the animals somewhere here upstairs to some big room and make the fortress around that? And here I'll make all my. Uh, this is not enough for just rooms. Um, also, my dwarves are not yet ready digging all the out of the stand central staircase out of yet out yet even wow words words they are a thing um okay well now for the start I'll do something here because they'll dig out pretty fast um let's make some more of these rooms why not and since I'll need to place a trade uh, depot somewhere too, I'll make the entrance through here. And uh, let's see if I can get the middle of these areas. Nope. <laughs> because there are also these sorts of blocks. Um, just have to do it by hand and probably mess up. This looks fine. Okay. Well, now it's time for some digging again. Um, also, some early glass forging. Why not? The problem is the magma is all the way up here. 
and I need it somewhere else to to actually use it. How about if I just keep it outside? Um, and not flood my old fortress uh, if possible. Um, how about this little room over here? If I place a wall here. Not from Rhyolite, I'll make it from um, marble, since I have a lot of those. And uh, then later, dig out my way here. Then I'll make be able to be able to make my own little magma pool over here. This will fill up and uh, it won't flow over, since uh, magma can never go up a level. Water can go up a level if you, you yeah. You know, use it through U-bends, I'll have a little video on that in the past. But lava can't do up, so this should be perfectly safe. Um, okay, let's first wait to for this to finish in the other rooms. I'll see how fast this goes. Okay, um, yeah, back in a second. Alright. Oh, not this again. No, mouse cursors. Not showing me there where they should be. Um, anyway, I did all this. Okay, um, now it's time to fill all these rooms with stuff. I already had plans, so I see some items there already. Um, first off, let's start with, with some workshops and some mason workshops. I'll need one of some of those inside. Let's build two of those. Um, since this is going to be a stone based room, I'll. Uh, some crafts dwarves on the other side so I can make some more crafts uh, out of stone and how about some mechanics on the bottom side um, three mechanics or is that something else I need from stone no but I want things to be even so there we go um, and also I had the idea to put a rock stockpile in here, stone stockpile, since these guys will need a lot of stone, and just not a normal stockpile on the stone stockpile, never make a normal stone stockpile. This one will only have marble in it. So, or maybe obsidian too, while I'm at it, once I find it. Um, yeah. Once I find obsidian, it will be brought here, just like all the marble. That's the most uh, economic stone, and that's nice if you're going to sell some stuff. Also, to be sure, I built a trade depot over here. For if any uh, caravans show up, you should do that before it turns uh, spring or turn, turns fall. Also, uh, in here, I want a big furniture stockpile, and here a big finished goods stockpile. So, I have to also have uh, some place to do these things. Um, well, this will work out. Also, up here, I dug all this out and uh, prepared it over here. It uh, went by a channel for the down level. And um, now it's just a question of opening this place. And let's do that with uh, a fortification so nothing creepy can get in. And maybe on this top level, let's. Straighten the walls a bit. Let's see. You should let things look a little more clearly. First, the wall gets smoothed. No problem at all. Oh, and this top part's dug out. Come on. You're on too, please. And well, uh, these tiles too. And I'll make a little, nice little lava bath over here. Um. Well, in a second. Oh well. Let's just carve out this wall and see how the, the log maestro uh, go in. Here comes the guy. I hope he can make it out before he dies. It's the expedition leader too. We should be able to walk up the ramp as soon as he comes in, and yeah, oh, and I get yeah, fucking filter keys on. Um. Ah, oh, come on, Windows. I can't even move the mouse anymore because I decided to 
put on filter keys. Um, anyway, the little lava bath worked. But I need first just need to fix my keys. Goddamn windows. Uh, back in a moment. Now perhaps. God damn it. Fuck you windows. Here you die. Filter keys it's somewhere in Windows 7. I hope we'll never come back again. Can I control my game now? I can. Jesus piss me off. Fucking filter keys. Um Where was I? Yeah. Um Let's see, uh, so the magma bath is here, and I think my expedition leader survived without any wounds. Let's uh, let's look at him, uh, W. Seems fine, no wounds at all. I got a little safe little magma bath, uh, bath out here. Um, well, time to start the glass forging. Um, that's with a magma glass furnace, basically. That's all you need. Let's make a couple. Out of nice uh, marble. There's a tree in the way, apparently. Well, then we really have a couple, only two. And uh, that'll need to be built. And there's Autumn. Now the, the traders will come soon. And, uh, and the saving take age, takes ages, but I spared you that. Um, now, now, these uh, things will grow. Uh, be built soon, or well, probably they probably wouldn't because I don't have any glass dwarves at all yet, and uh, no one really up for that. Maybe he did diagnoser, so he should really. Huh. The diagnosed guy has no skill at all in medical stuff. Or oh, well, that wrong thing on, but he's. Only a proficient diagnostician. That's pretty good, actually. He should be my chief medical dwarf. You know what? You get to be that now. Chief medical dwarf for the diagnosis guy. Um, are the other ones? Yeah, my expedition leader can be the broker, bookkeeper. No one with skill yet. Manager. There's nothing I don't need yet. Um. That's fine for now. Um, since we do have a broker, let's give him a little table to work at, and also for the chief medical dwarf. These will be the, the offices for now. Um, let's see. That will be for the, the my dwarves. Um, so these beds are still not done yet, but oh well. This was uh, good enough, um, but I need a dwarf to start glass work. Um, Mr. Bone Carver, you were probably pretty good in bone carving, right? Novice Bone Carver. Okay, you're going to be the glass guy. Mr. Bone Carver, oh, I could just stay in the menu. You're going to be a metalsmith, no. You're going to be a crafts dwarf making glass and you can have, even have phone carving on. Well, you won't now. You'll be a glass making from now. Um, yeah, that should be enough. Also, why not give him architecture so he can actually build the thing. Down here, everything's filling up fine. Um... There's probably some bad year boar somewhere in Rage 2. And my little stockpiles here are filling. So, you know what? This one... I was planning to here for this to be for my animals, but you know what? I'll make my wood stockpile here since I'd rather have that inside. Also, this was my old wood stockpile, right? Yeah. That can go, and since it's empty, I'll need a new source of trees anyway, and let's get down some more trees. That should be enough for now. Oh, here's all these badger boars. Well, my uh, hunter will probably shoot at them sometimes. Um, how are things going up here? It's crazy numbers of badger boars. Okay. You know what? We'll 
send out my military to scare them off for a second. Um, how about someone with some skills? No one with relevant skills. Well, then you get to go with just the hunter guy. Um, how about for space? We just move you around here. That whole little uh, scare of the boars, I hope. When he comes, he's on his way with his dog. Or not. He, what's he doing? Oh, he's first getting some armor. Well, that's a smart man. And then when he's up here, no sign of badger boars around. You know what? You can kill a couple of them from the list. There's also a bull moose. You know what? Kill some of the sows so they can't uh, reproduce. Well, not all of them, but this should be enough for now. Where are you going? You know what? Other idea. You should kill. Um, no, I should use a rectangle. And kill these guys. Because they are annoying. Um, kill Banger Sounds. Okay, resume the game. Where is he? Here. And now he'll go after them. Okay, well, let you go for a while. Um, how's the glass working going up here? Ah, here's actually the guy designing this place. And, um, uh, well, to actually get it up, I'll need much more migrants. One migrant to uh, just haul sand all day, and the other one to uh, actually do something with it. Um, so, what's the closest source of black sand to the volcano? Probably not on this level. This is all slummy sand. Here there's plenty of sandy clay, golden bamboo, peat. And down here, there's the black sand. Okay. Um, to make it as close as possible to here, I'll try to dig a little down here. Sure, nah, nah, I won't. I'll just mo make a little sand collection area over here. This should all be black sand, and I'll put this on S for sand, and why not this area too? Maybe not in this little bar, but now I have sand collection area. Now well, I need some bags, which I probably won't have much of, but I can probably get some from the trader. But the trader, to trade something, I'll need something to trade with. And to do that, I'll make some rock crafts for now. You know what? Some rock crafts and some bone crafts. That should work out fine. And the guy out here is doing nothing, but that's okay. This craft workshop is not, not necessary, necessary, necessary even more. Bleh. Words. Carpenter is still needed, mason is not necessary, the butcher I'll keep that outside since that rots a lot of stuff in the butcher shop. Um, also, I have some mechanic shop, so make some mechanisms for later. And, uh, well, I'd rather show you one little glass thing a little be little being forged in this video. Um, first, my mason. Doing something, okay. Um, you, Mr. Bone Carver, you can be a mason for now. And that'll hopefully make you build that thing, yeah. There we go. And here's our first magma glass furnace. Now we set some guy to collect sand. Also, I should make a little furniture stockpile next to here, uh, which has the sand, 
um, which has nothing but sandbags. Also, my big furniture stockpile over here should not have everything except sandbags. Okay. Now, uh, Mr. Bone Carver can get rid of his masonry since they're both built and they should be able to get some sand if I had some bags. Oh, he has a bag and he's trying to fill it, I think, here. Yeah, collect sand. Okay. And Mr. Guy over here is making some rough rock crafts already. That's nice. And yeah, whatever he builds, I'll just sell to the trader. Um, will also be nice to have those in a bin to sell them pretty quickly. So let's make some wooden bins. Oh, and let's make a carpenter's workshop inside here too. Oh, that's straight on the sand collection. Shouldn't do that. There we go. Uh oh. The ghostly farmer has risen and <laughs> is haunting the fortress. I built a coffin, but I didn't actually place the coffin, of course. Um, time to place that coffin. But where? Um, I like to do it somewhere deep underground, actually. Um, in a dead end. You know what, since it was for the good of the, veil, the fortress that he died, or whatever he was on the first ones, let's make this place his final resting room. I'll build a coffin over here. Now if a dwarf uh, would be so nice to actually drag the coffin over there. Which should happen in a second. So if you're running, running long because of this, oh well. Um, here we go. Coffin placed. Use it for burial. And make a tomb. No, and I can assign it to someone. No, I should not make in a tomb. I should just use it for burial. And now, the guy's corpse should be brought there. In a second. Oh, the chicks have hatched too. Um, I think that... Yeah, there goes the ghost of the ghostly farmer. It's like Scooby-Doo in here. Um, okay, so that's the farmer and... Uh, that's everything set up. Oh yeah, I want to show one little bit of glass farming before I end this. And now I have collected some sand. I can make green glass forever and make all items from this list. Basically infinitely, as long as I have black sand and... There's more than enough of that. Uh, it's probably not infinite anymore, but it's nigh infinite. Just like rock is. Uh, it's not rock is not infinite, but it's as good as infinite. Um, so for traps and defense later, I'll make a whole lot of yeah, large serrated green glass discs to cut off their legs. And uh, now the glass maker will, uh, when he gets the time, start forging there and make these things forever. Um, here he goes. There he's already with his pet piglet. Cool. Um, bil, um, bil, <laughs> wait. Um, real, um, real Mel Bill. Um, real Mel Bill. Weird name. But uh, yeah. And also I should end this episode ever even. Well, anyway. He's making the glass stuffs. Um, I dealt with the ghosts and um, made some forging areas, some, some starting areas here. Okay, next episode uh, I'll deal with the chick explosion which just happened. Which should, because the chicks have hatched. Um, let's take a look at my animal list. Uh, oh, that's not here, that's over here in the Z menu. It's not much. 
There's like six chickens. I guess I... Uh, well, I'll maybe probably more will hatch later, so, but uh, maybe some eggs got pulled away. Some high hens died too because the boars, I think, had killed them. Oh well. Uh, we'll manage, I have some chicks and uh, I'll make another new exp explosion otherwise, and uh, this will work for now. Um, yeah, this video has been more than long enough. I was aiming for 15 at yeah, 20 minutes, this is 25. I, uh, I'll see you guys later.